Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. Of course, we are at another Just Talk segment. And in this segment, we are going to talk about temperature. Temperature as it relates to crop growth and development. So before we start, I want to show you my thermometer and it also measures humidity as well. So this is what it looks like. Uh, and this is what the temperature is and the humidity at this time. Now this is a very handy gadget to have, um, especially if you are a greenhouse farmer as well. You want to ensure that the temperature is always at the right range or at the, or, or the optimal range that you want it to be. So normally with greenhouse farmers you will find that they have a minimum or maximum um, thermometer installed in their greenhouse. So every time they can go and check or if it is electronic they can basically get their updates on whatever uh, software or phone or their computer or whatever they have so you'll find that greenhouses normally have these thermometer uh, in their greenhouses to, to really monitor the temperature but you know it is good to have one of these you know a portable one to really move with and you, this can basically check the humidity as well and temperature has a lot to do with how plants grow some plants can tolerate high temperatures some plants can't as I spoke to you before in other videos, you can check them out here. We talk about C3, C4 and CAM plants and all those plants can tolerate different temperatures. The C4 and the CAM plants can tolerate higher temperatures than C3. Now the C3 plants, those are plants that we commonly grow. A lot of our, our plants that we plant in our garden are C3 plants and they, they, they cannot tolerate high temperatures right now in order well you can plant them in high temperatures and you fi will find that they have to adapt adapt to to those high temperatures and in adapting to those high temperatures you normally find that there's there's always a trade-off right whether they are going to say okay then listen we are going to tolerate the high temperature but guess what we are going to produce smaller leaves smaller leaves and we are going to give you smaller smaller production in terms of fruits and whatever you harvest right because um to tell you this is one of the adoption or adaptation that plants go through in order to tolerate uh, high temperatures they really uh, reduce the size of their leaves because the smaller the leaf is the better it will be able to interact with the environment, with wind and so on, to really take away that heat from the, from the, from the leaf surface. Right? A bigger leaf would basically mean it would take much more to, to cool down that plant or that leaf. So temperature. There are obviously temperature ranges and you find that certain plants do better in certain temperature ranges. Like for example, the C tree plants, they would do much better like between temperatures of 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. You can go a little closer to, to 30, but uh, that range is basically a, a, a good optimal range for them, to, for the C3 plants to grow properly. Now, as I said, the C4 plants can tolerate higher temperatures as well as the, the CAM plants. Now, when, when temperatures get too high, you find that it is detrimental to how plants grow as soon as you're kind of falling out of out of the higher end of the range or getting too hot the plants will basically the, the enzymes that work in the plants they basically get denatured and you find that the plant is not so productive the growth will slow down and it is the same thing at the other extreme in terms of when the temperature gets too low when the temperature gets too low you find that growth slows down as well that is why if you put something or some vegetable or anything in in a fridge you find that it, it it stores longer because freezing kind of slows down any kind of biochemical processes that is happening within the the plant part or the fruit or whatever so that is that that is that is one of the reason now let us talk about seed germination some seeds basically require some amount of chilling in order to break dormancy. If they don't get that chilling, they're not going to break dormancy and the seed will not germinate. So that is another way how temperature 
impacts plant growth and development. Now, another important impact that temperature has on plant growth and development is root development. Root, root development. And funny enough, you don't really hear a lot of farmers then in the Caribbean talk about root development, right? They more like do their farming and like they're not paying attention to what is really happening below ground in terms of what is happening with the plant roots. But if you realize when you plant a seed, the, the, the root is basically the first thing that emerges because without the root, there is nothing to support shoot development. So if you have shoot development, what is going to supply that shoot development with, with the, the nutrients and the water that it needs? You need the root, so the plant basic, the seed basically sends down the, 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 the radical uh, to, to form the roots and it, it, it forms some amount of roots and then uh, shoot, basically the shooting aspect of it basically initiates so that when the shoot develops, the root can basically support that developing shoot. Um, this picture that I'm, or this image that I'm showing you is basically showing you how different temperatures impact root development. Now as you can see from a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius if you look at the root it, 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 there's a big difference in moving up the line and you can clearly see that in, in the middle section here you can basically see that there is a, an optimal temperature range that roots will basically develop better and that is between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. So as you can see on this image it is basically showing that when the temperature goes beyond, um, in terms of the high temperature, when it goes beyond certain temperature, the roots basically get smaller. So that is, and then when it goes beyond certain low temperatures, the roots basically is, is small as well. They don't, they don't develop. So this is basically showing you that, you know, while we, we watch our crop grow, we need to know what is happening below the ground because this is obviously a very important aspect and I really don't hear a lot of people talking about it. Um, especially in the Caribbean, you know, a lot of like more sophisticated farmers in terms of um, even greenhouse farmers, they will understand that look, they need to, they need to have um, a, a root zone that is really of a certain temperature because this will influence better root development. And this is where it all starts right you need to have a good root structure in order to pull up that nutrients and that water and all the soil resource that the plant needs to support shoot development this is important so i want to kind of educate farmers and have them become more aware of the temperature aspect of their growing medium right their root zone their, your root zone needs to be of a certain temperature in order to support proper root development please ensure that you check on this so what i should also tell you too is that if you have a plant that is specially adapted to high temperatures you find that if you put that plant in low temperature or lower temperatures you find that the plant will not cope very well and it's the same for plants that are adapted for for low temperatures, if you if you put them, if you put plants that are adapted for low temperatures in, in, in higher temperatures, then you find that they will not cope very well. And in terms of a plant's response to temperature, it's it's not a overnight thing. It gradually happens. Right? So it's not like if you have your plants in a, a good temperature range. And the plants growing well it's not like if the sun gets extremely hot the, the next day it's going to reduce it, its leaf size over that 24-hour period no it, it, it is a gradual process right you will gradually see the changes over time in and and then now it depends on the consistency of of the environmental condition so you know this goes to show you that Temperature has a lot to do with, with how plants grow. So as I said, you want to ideally just aim for 
a, a temperature range of between between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. I mean, you, you can you can actually go up to like 28 degrees Celsius, sometimes 30, but and then as I said, it depends on the the the, the adaptation of the plant. You find that when you are growing some of your crops in your in your garden or on your farm just exposing them to high temperatures they will not do well so we have to pay attention to this environmental factor it influences plant growth and, and development greatly so we have come to the end of this video um, i am very happy to have shared in another just talk session and if you have any questions or any comments please put them in the comments area and also please remember to subscribe to the channel right subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell i'll see you again in another one thank you